Hi and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you a very nice, fresh and very easy summer makeup. And the good thing is you will not need a lot of product. I'm on the countryside in my tiny, tiny wooden garden house. And when I walked around in my garden this morning, the flowers, they were so bright in their colors and they looked full of life and it was warm. And I thought I use my time and show you a nice and fresh summer makeup. Of course, we don't want to have a lot of makeup on in the summer. We're glowing anyway, but we can kick that a little bit that we even glow more. But of course, first of all, you have to prep your skin because it's so important that you use sunscreen lotion. Never, never go out of the house without sunscreen lotion. Sometimes I have the problem with a sunscreen lotion that it's too thick. So now I found this one and let me see how it works on my skin. It says fusion water and I tried. It has a very high SPF, so I use 50 all the time. And I need it here. If not, I get these pigments and I look like I have a mustache. I don't like that. So never go out without sunscreen lotion, please. It's so, so important because your skin will age much faster. You get wrinkles much easier from the sun if you don't use sunscreen lotion. This one feels nice, it's very light, and you know what, it's not sticky. Normally, they, not normally, but sometimes they're sticky. This one is not sticky at all. So I like it, I will put it in the description box. I will go on with a product from Hildegard Brauchmann. It calls uh, Eye Lift, because my eyes, now when it's so warm, my eyes are very puffy. You see, there's this little ball. And if you put that on, oh, that's cooling. Oh, it feels so, so nice. It's cooling. Mm, it feels very good. And you know what? It feels so fresh. It wakes me up. Beautiful. I will put it in the description box as well. I don't want to use the foundation really. I want to have just my red spots covered. For that I'm going to use the Magic Away from Charlotte Tilbury. I will apply it where my red spots are. And I have red spots around my lip line so I will cover these two. And then I will use a bronzer from Catrice and it calls Sungasm. Mm, I like that. <laughs> For my bronzer, I use a brush from Soeva and it's number 102. It's for silk finish. Tap it in and then give your face some bronzing. Don't put it all over your face. You don't, <laughs> don't want to have that. It will look funny. But put it on your cheeks. And it gives you even more the sun-kissed look. I put it on my nose as well. Now I will go on with uh, the eyebrows. Let me see, look, they're hanging. So I will put them up and look. Look at the difference. This opens the eye and this is like mm. So I brush them up and you know what? I'm gonna apply a little bit of the bronzer on my eyelids as well. For that, I use my fingers. I just go like that. So I have a nice shine and it opens the eye even more. For the eyebrows, I use this brow style from Benefit. I like it a lot. On one side you have the powder and on the other side you have a pencil. I really like that. It's a good combination. And this time I 
just apply it on the lower eyebrow you know our eyebrows they get thinner it is like that we're losing hair and with this one you can fill it up very natural I give myself just a petite a little little eyeliner I used the pillow talk eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury it's a reddish brown so it's a it's a soft color and it defines your eye but it does not it's not too strong and it's fresh only only very close to your eyelashes and don't go too much down if not you pull your eye down actually you follow this line up and you can soften it a little with your finger you see it's more definition already and if you want to you can put this one on the upper waterline as well it's tickling but it looks nice you see the difference if you do that with the black it's too hard for the eyelashes i use a mascara from glossier see it's a nice a nice brush and this will be not a heavy mascara a light mascara i don't want to have drama eyes today it's a nice and small brush so it's easy to apply it how do you like it i like it i feel more awake already <laughs> so lips this time i will not use a very bright lip color that i have a defined line i will use this lip liner from charlotte tilbury color and everything i will put in the description box i don't go over my natural lip line i will go exactly on the lip line i do it on one side and then you can see the difference be careful that you don't do the upper lip bigger than the under lip if not it looks like you're sad or angry it pulls it down you see the difference it's just a little but it has a big effect summer means shine and glow so this is too matte for me i don't want to have it so matte i will put on the cherry balm from Glossier. you see i use it a lot it's empty already my friend elizabeth brought it for me from new york thank you i can't buy it in germany so i always have to have somebody who's bringing it <laughs> for me so elizabeth you have to come back soon i will use that much mm. oh it's such a nice smell and it has the glow it's fresh i like it like that <laughs> if you want to have more lip color on you can use glossier and it calls i have to put on my glasses for that the color calls sip just go on with your fingers and bring it on your lips and you know what you can do as well put it on your cheeks And as I promised, it's a very easy, fast, and very fresh summer makeup. Now you can go and enjoy your day, have fun, and thank you for watching. Bye.